How to build an RL collection. You're going to need a couple belts, baby. Dave Money, American Lairs, welcome back. I'm happy to be here, happy to have you with me. I'm going to talk about building a solid RL collection. You're going to need some belts, man. If you want to be official, if you want congruence, well-rounded, snatch some belts up. I'm going to spend a few minutes to talk about my favorite belts, tell you why I like them what they mean to me. I'm gonna start with a plain one. Let's get this out the way. Or should I start with some heat? Heck with it, let's start with some heat, baby. This right here, y'all know I always dog the bears. I'm not into the bear, got love for the bear. Never wanted one until I saw this belt. I feel like this is official. I snatched this right off the RL.com website. Couldn't wait to secondhand, couldn't risk it. Anyway. Let me tell you why I like this belt. First of all, the bear is well-dressed. Take my word for it. You can't see it because it would be out of focus. But trust me, I wouldn't lie to you. He's wearing a, a blue blazer with a crest, a, a regimental striped tie, and some khakis. Yeah, he's doing it. And if you throw this belt on, some of that can, like, you can absorb some of his fly. Shout out to Fly Spreadmaster. He said fly all the time. So... Obviously, we got the graphic design right here. It's all stitched in. But um, the leather is official too, man. I like RL because they take these raw materials and incorporate it into the garment, into the item. So we got this straight um, raw leather that's going to break in nicely. Just give it some time. Then we got this, um, I think this buckle is flipping, flipping y'all the bird. Like, ugh. Eh. But it's a cool buckle. It looks like kind of like brass it's not brass but it has a brass look real official then leather on this side as well the back is just this web uh this web material it's cool like i said i snatched this up um right off the rl.com site i had to have it you know i I would rock this with um some plain blue jeans oh and a sweet pair of leather loafers which i need i tell y'all the story about that but that's one now let me let me dial it down, show you something plain that could do you a lot of good. Don't sleep on the plain stuff because stuff like this mixes well. You know what I mean? A nice, uh, I forget what they call this. Let's just say it's webbed and it has rings. Although it's not, it's not D-ring, it's not O-ring. These rings are kind of rectangular. So I don't know the right name for it. But it's a cool belt. Throw it in the mix. It'll go with something. Get that out of here. Let me show you one of my favorites, though, because I got a rebound. That that got my mood all wrong. This messed, this messed my mood up. Um, I'm going to show you ribbon. You got to love ribbon if you in this RL world, prep world, whatever, classic American style. You're going to need some ribbon belts. I got two. I'll show you one at a time because it's a belt video. We got time. All right. Again, um, so the ribbon belt, these are cool. But they are seasonal to me. I only like these in the warm seasons. This one is what? Blue, white, green. It's not just the color that makes it seasonal. It's, it's the, the material. It's not, a, it's not a very strong material. And you wear heavier garments. You're rocking like wool sweaters and um, Oxfords. I mean, Oxfords are all season. But depending on the color. You know, I wouldn't rock this with like a corduroy button down. You know, because once you fasten this... Give me one second. You know, when you fasten these, um, the extra fabric tends to hang. And that, that don't work with everything for me, not with these colors. So anyway, it's seasonal. Um, I believe in playing by some rules as far as like color and season. You know, some things, everything don't go with everything. So this is the other one. This is my favorite. I think I wear the other one more. But um, I don't know, something about the, uh, the size of these stripes is, is just two colors. Uh, it's a bold, uh, bold blue and, and a bold yellow, which is something else I wanted to talk about. Generally, with an outfit, I look for some sort of balance, right? So if um, in these, these colors are saturated, all right, let's get that out of the way. These are saturated. So generally, I wouldn't have on a bunch of saturated pieces at once, right? Maybe... That's why you see, you know, faded blue jeans 
with a bold yellow shirt or whatever, you know, because you mix. Anyway, the belt can be an important part of that. The belt can be the star. The belt can be your saturated item. If you're playing by those rules, try it out if you haven't, and you'll see what I mean. But um, sometimes these belts can be a statement. They little, but they they pack a lot of flavor, and it's that's why that's why collecting is so fun. You know, you 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 have a bunch of items you like and you love them individually, but when you group them all together and just look at the colors and the combinations, it's like a damn candy jar. It's like a, a container full of Skittles or M and M's. I'm tripping, right? Anyway, these are ribbon belts. I wish I had more. Uh, but the problem is they price gouge with these. When I see a ribbon belt, I think this belt should be $15. But people know this stuff is dope and they know you want it. So they charge you up for it. I wish it wasn't that way, but that's the game. We chose this hobby. This is a favorite. And if you're a real RL head, a real collector, you've seen this in a lot of ads, a lot of photos. And there's good reason for that. It's a classic. It's the OG. Think about it. Look at it. Just look at it. You've seen this in a lot of photos. It's because it's versatile. It's understated, right? But the design, uh, the embellishment is in the right places. Like, check this out, right? On this tiny little buckle, you got the embossed, um, what's it say, PRL. And you got these little embossed stripes. It's perfect. The light hits it. And that's all you need, man. And you can rock this with all sorts of stuff. I'm going to show you. For example... I throw it on with these plain blue shorts. Right, it's perfect. Brings it to life. The blue against the uh, the blue against the brown, and that's a great example of saturation. I was telling you about. So the shorts are not saturated, but the belt is. You know, and, and what happens is when you um when you match things like that, it actually brings the, the other color out more. They bring each other out more. Think look look up look into saturation and complementary colors. Or I'll just do an episode on it. It's whatever. So you could rock this with like the blue shorts, or you could take it to like fall or whatever season you would rock your tartan pants and and look, it still works. So now you see why this little thing has been the subject um, of a lot of outfits. Not the subject, but it's been it's been an important piece in a lot of outfits. It's a go-to. It's been around for years, and I love it. I love it. All right, I got a few more to show you. Stay with me. Stay with me, because this next one is a heavy hitter, and it's literally heavy. Now... The other belts had some low profiles, like they weren't very wide, but this one is wide, and I like it. It's appropriate, right? As you accumulate items, you could play that variety. That's the special thing. People think we all just hoarding for no reason. No, we hoarding, we accumulating all this stuff so we can execute our outfits exactly the way we want. So we had thin or narrow, and now we have wide, and they both still leather, you know what I mean? but a little different. This one has O-rings and the O-rings are attached to the main strap by this cool little knot and some rivets. I love RL. So I was able to talk about belts in my big video, um, my Ralph Lauren collection, but I couldn't really get into detail because I had to keep it moving. But this is a belt episode, all right? I love this, it's just straight leather. Um, the other side is um, is not finished. It's kind of like suede. I love all those details. All right. I don't wear this much because it's a little big, but I think it's work. It's worth having work done on it, which is why I play with tools because I like to modify things. I like to have the power to do whatever I want. So my my tools and my life is like my clothes. I want to execute with perfection. I want to I want to execute really deliberately. Let me show you another favorite. This here, man. Y'all fool with black watch. So this little thing right here is black watch, it's wool. It's so dope, man. It's got like these leather details, you know. It's a cool belt and even the backside looks finished. 
it, it almost looks like a reversible belt except for the the embossed lettering right here. It's cool, man. Black watch. I got two more, man. I hope y'all still here with me, man. While we just while we just appreciate these belts, man. Um, two favorites. I probably had these the longest. When I got serious about copping belts, this this was probably the first one I grabbed. I mean, I had other belts. Um, I found you know, Club Monaco, J Crew, stuff like that. But when I got serious about my RL belts, this was the first one I grabbed it from an outlet, and I loved it because of um. This part right here, well, it had the leather, and then the, and then it was connected to the, to the fabric with with this little thing right here. And I love that, and then seeing that next to this, you know, another buckle over here, it was just cool. It was just cool. Um, it's got like a crown, an RL, and a crown right here. It's cool. I love this belt because it's adjustable. Now that I think about it, because it's a, the adjustability is probably the problem. Sometimes, you know, the outfit starts to feel loose as the day wears on and then you get to tighten it. So I guess if they didn't put this in, you wouldn't have to tighten it. But it feels good tightening it. I don't know. I, I just like using equipment, man. I like using things. I like I like utility. So this here is a favorite. Uh, but I reserve this for kind of the warmer season um but no worries because i got the same thing in the uh in a color that's more appropriate for a uh, colder season right just a little darker blue and a burgundy instead of the red i'll show you together so you got the burgundy instead of the red those yellows are though even those yellows are slightly different Mm hmm. I love it. So that's the belt collection. Hey, man, I love it, man. I love collecting. You see how pumped I get about this. I appreciate y'all sharing this time with me. If you want to see more collection videos, I got them. I have collection videos. How to build an RL collection the right way. How to build a solid RL collection. Flexibility. Belts. I'm just playing with different principles, y'all. Go watch the videos. And I appreciate you. Subscribe so you don't have to miss no more of this. Subscribe, hit the notifications. Dave Money, American Lairs, appreciate you. I'm out.